guys, Jess here. I've got a pretty exciting weekend going on. Um, it's Friday the 21st, and I'm just heading to the main event for the weekend. Uh, me and Twiggy got into the Peter Gray Clinic there, so we're going and stabling there all weekend. We ride tonight as our first session, and it's uh, dressage, and then tomorrow they're doing grids and gymnastics. And then on Sunday, our session is learning to ride cross country, and I'm kind of curious to see what, what he does with that, since a bunch of the people in the clinic are not eventers. They're just hunter-jumper sort of people. So I think my thought is he's just going to do a bunch of creative stuff with stadium jumps, maybe some angle stuff, neat skinnies, things like that. Um, but whatever it happens to be, I'm super excited about it. I rode with him a year ago, and Twiggy was quite a bit greener, but it was still a really, really good experience, and I love that he has the dressage background as well, and he really gets into sort of the hows and whys and the basics of the flat work and what you need to do well in dressage. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's almost 10 o'clock. Um, I'm riding in the second group tonight, but the first group goes at 10. So I'm heading there now to catch part of the first group. I'm gonna check out what he has them do this morning. And then I've got a couple of the things I'm gonna do there throughout the day, a couple of different sessions and lectures and things I wanna watch, check out the trade fair. And then we ride tonight. So yeah, I'm, I'm really fortunate. I only live a short drive away from where the main event is. It takes me about 20 minutes to drive there from the barn. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm stabling Twiggy there this time just because it's easier than hauling back and forth every single day. Um, last year I rode with Jimmy Wofford there, which was awesome, and I just hauled in because it was just two days, but this year it's three days, which I'm super excited about. So, so yeah. So we will, we're almost there, so I'll walk you around the trade fair. Say like Twiggy's back there in the trailer. Back there in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, check you later. Good, how are you? Do you need a weekend pass? I do, yes. So twelve dollars. Okay, awesome. Thank you. No worries. Lots of stuff for you folks. Perfect. Have a lovely Thank weekend. you. <laughs>
I finished my ride with Peter. Today uh, we just did dressage and Twiggy was really, really good. I was super happy with how she was. She was so nice and relaxed in all of our trot work and we didn't canter until the very end. And in our ride, she's usually very relaxed until we canter and she sort of did that, um, what she usually does today when we rode. So she got a little bit keyed up after we cantered but Peter was able to offer us some useful advice on how to keep her a little more settled and round in the transition. So we're gonna work on that and uh, keep, on, keep on moving forward and progressing. Um, he really liked her actually. He remembered us from last year when we rode with him, which is really cool. And he actually, he really liked her. And he said, she's a really nice horse and yeah, so that was really, really cool. I'm super happy. So tomorrow is gymnastics and grids, and he usually comes up with some fun, creative stuff. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, I got Twiggy all fed and put away and tucked into bed, and I'm going out for supper with some friends that came down from Grand Prairie, and then heading home, and then I'm gonna come back up in the morning to watch the group, the morning group with Peter at 10, and then we'll, yeah. I'll check back when in with you tomorrow and it'll be another super fun day at the main event. still freezing at night. We're waiting for spring to come, but debatable when that will happen. So we got here this morning, watched Peter Gray's first, first group, and they did some neat grids and gymnastics and things that looked really fun. So we, I don't ride till supper time again. So we're just hanging out and burning some time. Walked around the trade fair a little bit, um, I haven't bought a whole ton of things. I did, however, find bras on sale. Like, really expensive bras that you usually pay like 80 bucks for. And they're on sale for $25. So I definitely, I was like, my, 
my exciting find of the day. So of course, you can't beat a deal like that. So, so I'm just hanging out now. We watched Peter Gray in the morning, watched a bit of the dressage um, session that went on. I went out for lunch with the Vetokanal um, lady that works for them. We're in talks with some sponsorship for the Alberta Horse Trials Association. So we sat down, had lunch, and had some really good discussion about some ideas and things um, that we can do going forward. So I'm pretty excited about that partnership. There'll be some really neat things coming, coming uh, eventings way in Alberta. So as we get more of that rolling, I'm sure I'll talk about it a little bit more. So I'm just giving Twiggy a walk. I might zip home for an hour or two just to get away from the crowds. There's like a lot of horse people, I'm sure, who are introverted. They love to go out and do things with all their horse friends and then you need to go and like hide from everything. And that's definitely me. So I've had my fill of crowds for the moment. So making sure Twig's taken care of and then we'll zip home and chill for a couple of hours and we'll come back and we'll ride tonight with Peter Gray. And then for tomorrow, we ride in the morning. We all, it's uh, 11 till 12.15, which is kind of nice. Both groups are back to back. And then we will, and we will be sort of packing up to head home. Just forgot something that I was gonna do, I think. Okay. No, I'm good. I just remembered Peter Gray is doing a lecture at three o'clock. It's actually 2.35. I don't know why that sort of slipped my mind, but I'm glad I haven't missed it, so give a quick walk, get her taken care of, go check out Peter's lecture, and then, and then, yeah, do something for the next couple hours before, before I ride. So, we're walking on the racetrack. What do you think of that, Twig? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. Very high maintenance, yes. The, the wire to wire team tackling Twiggy. <laughs> <laughs> Down your toe. What are you guys doing? Music partying. Yeah, partying up until 3 a.m. <laughs> Slow motion, light rain. You could really see how that horse had to push through there instead of using the speed. Good job. So Lisa, I worry about this canter from here to here. He got very strung up. You need to work on getting him to rebalance just a little bit quicker. Okay, next rider, please. Okay, I, already I like the slower trot. Jessica, you always start out very fast. Very fast, but this is a super trot. And now your three point, don't kick for the takeoff, wait for him. Light rain, light rain, light rain. Okay, very good. Now shorten and balance the canter. Shorten and balance the canter, slow. Slow. Very good jump there. Shorten and balance the canter. So as you're approaching this fence, straighten his head and his neck. Give with the rain pressure. Very nice jump. Shorten the canter again. After he did the flying change, he was a little bit unbalanced, so shorten. Wait for the extra stride. Soft rain. Excellent. Very, very good. The AK 
day jump and you have a, a left turn with a medium on landing, it's better to get a short jump and not a long standoff. Never better not to get a standoff this time. Okay, every time this shot is looking better and better. So at the middle of all the fences, line them up, light rain. Very good. Surfer. Not speeding up. Now a little balancing. And softening for the second one. Short steps. Short canter. Short canter. She was quite brave off of that turn, but a short canter. It's much better for their balance, for their education, for a narrow jump if we have a short canter. Well done, really good. Hey guys, we are all done riding. We did some fun grid stuff with Peter. And Twiggy was pretty good for the most part. She came out not quite as settled as I would have liked her to be, but that's baby horses for ya. So I'm not too concerned about that. About halfway through she settled and uh, we got some, some nice passes through the get grid. Peter had us really concentrating on slowing down the trot to get her pushing from behind and really sitting as she pushed off over the jumps because her default, just like with most thoroughbreds, is just to sort of speed up and use her momentum. So I was really happy with how that progressed and it's snowing which i don't know if you can see there's snow on me joyful alberta weather awesome um big thanks to the wire to wire equine team um char and kalina came out gave me a hand tacking up and grooming for me and stayed and watched my session and then i've got a few videos that i'll share from them as well so thank you ladies, that was awesome. I don't get to see them very often, but it's really cool to sort of touch base and, and have them come out and support me. I really appreciate the support. Um, and they've got a new product coming out soon, which I'm really excited to try. They're formulating their leather conditioner, which I'm super excited about. Um, this is a sample, I'm gonna try it out, see how it is, and they might, it's sort of still in the development process. They might do some changes still before they end up releasing it, but I'm very excited. I haven't found a leather conditioner that I love, love yet. So I'm, so I'm hoping this will be, this will be the one. So I'll leave a link in the description. Um, the wire to wire leather soap is my favorite and you guys all should check it out. Um, there'll be a coupon code for 10% off if you want to order from their website. It'll be somewhere here, I assume. But, yeah. Oh, I also want to show you my socks. Pikachu. My friend Jen got them for me and they're awesome. I've got so many comments on them from people. It's the first time I've worn them because I like to save my super fun socks for super fun occasions. So Twig's all tucked into bed. I'm gonna head home and we're going to have a good night's rest. Before our session tomorrow morning, we go at 11. Um, the Peter Gray sessions are back to back tomorrow. I believe 9.45 is the first one and then 11 is will be ours, which will be really fun. And we're gonna do, I don't know what he's doing for cross country which is what it is, but I'm sure he'll have some fun, fun angles, some fun skinnies, cross country type stuff to school. So yeah, gonna head on home now and we'll see you guys tomorrow. No, don't snow. We will see what it looks like in the morning. Bar. Why? Why 
is this happening? after that we're off to the chase event on May Long and then we're staying there over till the following weekend for the clinic the four day clinic which will be an amazing education um, for Twiggy again as we went there last year and she grew up so much during those four days and so I'm, I'm excited to build on it some more and, and jump all the things and we are planning on going prelim at Chase 
So that should be super fun as well. I'm so excited for Chase. It's like the single most fun event and fun cross country that I go to. It's more old school with lots of hills and terrain and, and stuff like that. And then after Chase, I'm back. I've got a couple of clinics I'll teach and then I, I've got sort of a, a quiet few weeks before we've got um, the next clinic after that will be Holly Bennett's. June 17th and 18th, I believe, and that's at Rocky, and yeah, just sort of tentative schedule after that will be possibly the Rocky event, but Rebecca for sure, Summer Alhambra, third weekend in August, the Grand Prix event end of August, and then championships, hopefully all of that at prelim, so... So yeah, it's gonna it's shaping up to be a pretty fun year, and we've got lots of more clinics and stuff and time and opportunities for education coming our way this year. Since Twiggy is still green, I'm using sort of every opportunity I can to keep her learning and growing and developing, and, and yeah, it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. I'm very excited. All right, so I'll catch you in the next vlog. Peace out. That was too long a stride as well. Slow. Slow. No correct position. It's wherever you feel you're comfortable. We just want the horses to relax and the riders to relax. So a little bit lower with your seat, stretch up a little bit, and now involving your seat. And she used her seat in a very gentle, very subtle way, which is correct for this horse because he has lots of energy and we create Lower the energy, heel down, lower the energy, slow with the canter. Very good, slow, whoa, 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 good girl. Excellent, super.